Hey, Kevin, it's Viola. How you doing? I wanted to quickly go through your website here, go through a couple of your competitors, and then just really talk about a couple of things I can help you with. So for starters, I love the way your website looks. I love your logo. It's a very clean site. It's easy on the eyes. Um, I am going to suggest that you make this phone number clickable because 99% of the people that land on your website will be using their mobile phone. So you want to make it pretty easy for them to be able to reach out to someone, kind of like how the free estimates is clickable as well. Okay. Then let's see, you have some, okay, very good, social proof. We'll get to these photos in just a minute and some more links. Okay, so Google likes to see at least 1,500 to 2,000 words of content, and that's for two reasons. The first reason is because Google has crawlers, right? So they're crawling the content because they're trying to figure out what areas you serve and what services you offer. So the more content you have on here, specifically on the home page, it's gonna make you look more like the expert in their eyes. And in addition to that, you wanna beat out your competitors. So for example, if your top competitor has approximately a thousand words on there, then you wanna add at least 1500 to 2000. And in that content, you wanna have specific keywords. So if someone is searching for roofing in Johns Creek, Georgia, and you guys have that on here a bunch of times, on your homepage, you're going to be really relevant for that search and Google's going to be willing to put you higher up in the search results for more people to be able to find you, right? So for example, when you go to Google and you type in, if someone's looking for roof replacement, Johns Creek, the first thing we see are all of the Google guaranteed ads and more paid ads and more paid ads, right? But then there's this section right here, and this is what we call the map pack. This has everything to do with your business name, address, and phone number listed throughout different directories across the World Wide Web such as when i say directories i'm talking about like yelp yellow pages white pages yext um even instagram is a, is a is a citation right so the strategy to win here is to find out exactly how many citations does nailed it roofing have if they have 250 then you want to get at least 350 to 400 so you know you're outranking them every single month right and then you'll notice that you'll be in these top three because most of the most of the people that are searching for anything on google don't go past the first page for or anything so you don't really want to be lost in this section where you have to click for more all right then you have this area down here this is the organic section so this has everything to do with content on your website and backlinks so i don't care about angie's list but this was interesting to me this looks like a local company in the area that's doing the same thing so i went ahead and pulled them up um roofing repair john's creek right and I mean, to be honest, your site actually looks a lot better than theirs. But as you can see, it's not about looks, right? They care about, if the robots care about the information. You see how much content they have on here? I'm pretty sure this has a lot to do with why they're ranking where they are. But yours is definitely a much better site. So I think if you add the right amount of content with the right um, authoritative keywords in it, then that's really going to help you guys to, as, as far as outranking them in regards to content. Now I'm going to hop over to this tool that I use called Ares. It just lets me see the back end of a website and what's going on with it. The first thing you see essentially is a UR and a UR is a power flow from Google and then the DR is a trust flow. And both of these numbers are increased by something called a backlink. And all a backlink simply is, is an endorsement from another company that has a clickable link on it. So when someone clicks on it, it in turn passes them over some trust and passes power over to their site. Obviously this is clickable and I could go in here and see what's working for them and how it could work for you. But I wanna get in front of these organic keywords right here um, and see how this can help penetrate your site as well. So right here, it says roof repair Johns Creek, right? This is telling us that 40 people look for this keyword on a monthly basis. This company is in the number two position for this keyword and they get additional 16 calls per month just for this one keyword, right? Then you have Johns Creek roof repair. Um, they're in the number one spot for that keyword and they get four, an additional 14 calls per month just from that one keyword. So these are, and the list goes on and on. You want it to be specific to the areas that you're looking, you're looking for. That's what makes the lead more of a buyer intent lead as opposed to just someone who's from wherever for whatever. Um, so these are the type of keywords that you want to have added to your home page specifically if this is the um or whatever page it is that you want to rank for john's creek right i know you also mentioned buford the same process can happen for buford but 
for example, you know, the more people that are, if you have these keywords on here, more people are going to be able to find your website organically, and then more people are going to be able to call you, and then more people are going to be able to book with you, right? So lastly, these pictures in here, you want to save these pictures as those keywords that you're trying to be found for. You see this one is saved as uh, zero 02. This should be saved as one of those keywords that I just pulled up that 40 people per month are looking for, etc. Because again, Google doesn't care what the actual site looks like, as we saw just a while ago. They really care about the information that's behind it. That's all they want to do, protect their business, their baby, which is Google, right? So that's all I have for you, Kevin. I look forward to talking to you tomorrow about it. Um, I hope you found this pretty interesting and enjoy the rest of your trip. Take care.